Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. Well, good afternoon, because it's in the afternoon. But I am about to get my day started, you guys. So happy. I don't even know what today is. I just know it's almost Christmas time. Happy Thursday, everybody. This morning, um, I kind of slipped in. Me and my husband slipped in just a little bit. It, it was cold. It's a cold, rainy, gloomy day. We're supposed to have a freeze here this week in Texas. So after we got up, we kind of got dressed and we headed outside and me and my husband were wrapping our pipes. Couldn't find any equipment to really wrap it with. So we kind of did it ourselves, but it's done. So that took a little bit of time. We were wrapping our pipes. So when it does freeze, we don't have anything burst and all that bad stuff. Cause y'all know what happened. If y'all are here in Texas, like what was it? Not last year, but the year before, I believe when the power grid went down and all that bad stuff happen cross our fingers that does not happen this year but we were preparing for that so that took a little up a little bit of time but I cleaned up around my house just the usual things I do for the morning and now I'm going to go ahead and have my first meal of the day today is my carb cycling day because I do do it on Thursdays and Fridays so we're gonna be having some low calorie high protein meals today and I'm just gonna take you all along my day on what I'm going to be eating. We're not gonna do, be doing nothing too crazy today since it is rainy outside and it's freezing, but I do plan to just have some good meals today, kind of relax a little bit, get some content creating done. And um, I'm probably gonna make a cake with my kids later, like a little um, Christmas funfetti cake because they wanna be baking something. So we're gonna do that later. But yeah, we're just gonna have a relaxing day today. So let's go ahead and get started. Last night, no, yesterday I had like a chicken bowl and I have some leftovers. So usually my favorite go-to kind of lunch usually on my carb cycling days are kind of like Chipotle kind of bowls that you would get. So when you go to Chipotle, you know how they ask you for white rice and you get your protein and then you add your veggies and your beans and things like that. So I love to make bowls like that here at home because they're super easy to make um, when you don't when you don't want to go out and buy one. So we're going to go ahead and start up some white rice. I have some leftover grilled chicken with some black beans and then we'll go ahead and top it off. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make my rice first. I just go in with half a cup. Usually I do it in my instant pot, but since I'm making a little bit just for me, I'm just going to do it in my regular pot. So this is what I usually do. I put the rice. For half a cup of rice, I usually go in with one cup of water. And then I'm going to go ahead and season it before we boil it. I'm going to turn on my heat to medium. And I let it come to a simmer. And then I lower the heat and then I cover it. It comes out perfect every time. Some salt. A little bit of pepper. And then... Oh, I was going to add some red chili flakes, but I don't know how to right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this come to a simmer first. Okay, and then I have some leftover chicken breast. It's kind of one big one and like half a small one. I'll see how much I eat. But this was just like pre-marinated chicken breast from H-E-B. So it's a cilantro lime chicken breast. And it's super good. I'm just going to warm it up. And then I'm going to go in with half a cup of just some black beans that I seasoned with salt and pepper. Okay, once my rice is simmering, I go ahead and lower the heat to like a low medium. And then I cover it with the lid and you're just going to let the water evaporate. Okay, once you see that there's no more water in the rice, you're going to turn it off, but you're going to leave it covered for about five minutes. Okay, while my rice gets nice and fluffy, let it sit there for a little bit. I've been drinking super coffee. Um, this is keto approved, of course. I have this on my keto days, whenever I want, honestly. Mm. So I'm getting in my little coffee this morning, but while that's sitting there, I went ahead and warmed up the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and slice it up. I warmed up the black beans. And then usually when you go to Chipotle, they just have like a little topping option. So I kind of think of the toppings that I usually get from there. Um, we're going to go in with some sour cream. We got a thing of avocado guacamole. So we got some Mexican blended shredded cheese. I'm just going to add a little bit of cilantro that I have left to my rice. I have a tomato that I'm going to dice up and then I already have some pre-shredded lettuce. Oh, and I also have some picante sauce. I absolutely love Chipotle's red salsa. I need to get a big container of it. I don't know what it is. It's so good. But today we're going to go in with some picante. Yesterday I used green salsa about a hundred more. Um, and that's pretty much it. If y'all want to make this keto, say y'all don't carb cycle. I know y'all still watch these videos and stuff. You can just put it over cauliflower rice and you can make it that way. Um, and it's still really good if you're, if you're not someone that's into eating white rice or you're just strictly keto. Cauliflower rice is another great option that you can go ahead and go in with. Okay, so I went ahead and sliced up half a tomato, a little bit of cilantro. I'm just going to go ahead and slice up my chicken. You know, I realized that H-E-B 
they have a lot of good like marinated chickens that you can just go ahead and buy and it makes it so much easier and they're super super good so look at this and it smells really good great for prepping great for leftovers they even have chicken fajitas chicken um steak fajitas that are pre-marinated they have so many meat options okay my rice is done like i said i go in with half a cup of rice so i'm just gonna lay this at the bottom it came out perfect if i do bigger batches than like half a cup i usually do it in my instant pot All right, to my rice, I'm just gonna add my cilantro. I'm just gonna mix it in. You could probably cook it in. I just thought about it last minute. But you can boil it with the cilantro. Okay, next is our protein, which is our chicken today. Go with any type of protein in here, you guys. And I ended up just using one breast. I still have another one. Then we're going to go in with half a cup of our black beans. We're going to go in with our diced tomato. These are perfect for prep. I love bowls like this. Like I could eat these all the time on my carb cycling days. We're going to go in with some shredded lettuce. You can even add corn if you want some corn, but I don't know. I'm not like I love corn, but I try to stay away from it a little bit. Just too sweet. We're gonna go in with some avocado, just a tablespoon. We're gonna go in with a tablespoon of sour cream. Serving size of cheese is one fourth cup, so we're just gonna go in with the one fourth cup of cheese. I try to do serving sizes, you guys. Like that helps a ton when you do serving sizes, like what it suggested. Then we're just gonna go in with a little bit of salsa. Alright, guys, and here is lunch. Our chipotle chicken bowl you can even marinate your chicken and chipotle peppers if y'all want that chipotle flavor but i just mix everything up and dig right in it's my favorite thing to eat mm. you know when i do a dance it's good mm, it's so good and then for my drink i was just gonna go in with some water but i feel like having a little flavor so i don't have these often usually i go in with the meal drops but I had these on hand, and usually they're for a pitcher, but I'm just gonna add a little bit. So these are just Crystal Light Raspberry Lemonade. They're only five calories and two carbs. Um, so I'm just gonna go, oh, for two carbs for like a whole thing, right? Two carbs, one fifth of the packet. So I'm just gonna add a little to my water just to have something different for lunch today. So I just add about that much. But they sell like the little individual packets just for a serving size, but I don't know why I had the pitcher ones on hand. These are good. Mm. Oh, that was just the right amount. All right, guys, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my first meal of the day. And get some work done. I got to reply to some emails. And thank y'all again for supporting me on my new meal plan, you guys. If y'all missed it, I do have a meal plan. A new Keto with Sammy meal plan out that requires only five ingredients for all the recipes. You get 10 recipes for only $20. So if you are interested, you can email me. It's in the description below. Or you can message me to my Facebook page. But I had so much support from you guys. So thank y'all so much. I got to get back to some of y'all's emails. But I'm going to sit down and devour this. Alright guys, so I just got to HEB. I came to the store really quickly. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of things for dinner and we were gonna grab some things before this freeze hits because right now it is absolutely freezing. There is a wind chill. So we're just gonna grab a couple things for tonight so we don't have to come back out with things that we need. And yeah, I'm just gonna make a simple protein dinner. I'm gonna probably pick up some protein pasta, may maybe some pre-shredded chicken, some Alfredo sauce because I'm kind of craving like Alfredo pasta. And then I'm probably gonna make a low calorie dessert. It's gonna be like a little apple pie kind of thing and I'll show you how to make that but I'm just gonna quickly head into the store and grab what I need okay for the pasta usually I go in with this chickpea pasta usually I go in with the penne but I'm gonna go ahead and try this angel hair and just make like a thin alfredo I also grabbed some white jasmine rice so I don't have to pick none up tomorrow and then these are like the packets that I like to get of chicken so I got the sweet chili one I haven't tried this one they also have lemon pepper and like Italian they're super good H-E-B has some pre-shredded chicken, so I'm just gonna pick up a pack of some shredded white meat chicken. All right, you guys, I'm back from H-E-B. I, I have a headache, okay? I don't know why I went to the store. That store was so packed. It literally took me about an hour to go to H-E-B and to grab some food for my kids and my husband, and it's down the street. Like, it was packed. It was packed in H-E-B because, of course, Christmas, and I think because of the cold front, everybody's just grabbing some stuff. So it was super packed. I have a headache. So I grabbed something super simple for dinner, like I said, um, because I just want to relax now. And it's freezing. I am so not ready for this cold front. Sorry, my microwave's going off. I am so not ready for this cold front. I do not do well with cold. Like, as long as I can stay inside, I'm cool. But out there, that wind was hitting. Like, it's cold right now. It's 30 degrees, and it's supposed to drop. So let's go ahead and get started on dinner because I'm already hungry. Um, we're gonna have something super simple like I said. I'm gonna go in with this chickpea pasta I grabbed the angel one hair. I saw y'all I showed y'all they have a different variety The thing about these is you have to rinse them once you cook them because then it has like that film to it And then they don't taste right. So you got to give them a good rinse So we're gonna go in with the serving size of these I haven't tried this angel hair one, but they're really good I like them for my carb up days. There's four servings per container and a serving size is two ounces dry. So we'll get that. Then this isn't the best thing to go in with, but like I wanted to make it super simple dinner. I probably could have made my own protein kind of sauce, Alfredo sauce, but it's just it just took way more ingredients and I was trying to get in and out of there because it was packed. I couldn't even get through the aisles. Like there were so many people. So H-E-B makes their own Alfredo sauce. I just grabbed this Alfredo sauce. I actually saw it the other day and I wanted to try it because y'all know H-E-B making some good stuff, okay? So I wanted to see how their Alfredo sauce tasted. And then of course I grabbed some shredded chicken. So we'll go in with the serving size of this. And then I actually have some broccoli in the fridge so we can add a veggie in here and we'll boil some broccoli up and mix it in. So quick and easy dinner and I am going to be making a dessert. I grabbed some apples. I was trying to find the no sugar added apple pie filling because I was going to use that. But they had none, of course, because the holidays are around. So we're just going to make our own apple pie filling. So yeah, I really want dessert tonight because I'm probably going to make a cake here in a little bit with my kids. I'll show y'all. We're just going to make a little cake with them. Um, I don't know. I just felt like baking today. My kids wanted a cake, so I just grabbed a Funfetti cake. And then I'll, we'll just put like some Christmas sprinkles on top. They like Funfetti, so I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do in a little bit here. But let's go ahead and get started on dinner. Okay, so I'm going to start boiling some um, water for my pasta. I know I'm using like this weird pan, but it's because I hate using multiple dishes so i'm just going to use one pan and make it like a one pan pasta type thing so i'm gonna go ahead and let this come to a boil we're starting to boil i'm gonna go ahead and put a serving size of the chickpea pasta these are super thin look at this okay serving size then while the pasta is boiling why not boil some broccoli so i'm gonna add some broccoli just to get it tender and boil it all together make life easier so we don't have to boil it separately Gotta think smarter, not harder. All right, that should be a good amount, and I'm just gonna cook this through. You guys, my middle child, he is crazy. He keeps asking me and telling me that he wants to go swimming. I'm like, you gotta wait till next summer. It's the things I deal with. I gotta tell him every day that he cannot go swimming. <laughs> all right, this looks like it's gonna cook pretty fast, so I'm gonna give it a couple minutes, let it get all tender, let the broccoli get tender. Okay, so my pasta, you can see that it changed color, so it's nice and tender. I'm going to go ahead and drain this, and then you want to give this a good rinse. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse the broccoli with it, and then we'll add it back to the pan. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Alfredo sauce. It looks a little chunky, so we're going to see how this turns out. Serving size is one-fourth cup. I'll see how that does. I'm going to 
gonna go ahead and cook this down and then we'll season it. It looks kind of like ricotta cheese in a way. But I believe in H-E-B. This pasta looks pretty good, but it breaks apart super easily. Like it's very fragile. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and season with some pepper. And then a little bit more salt to taste. This sauce looks pretty good. I think the serving size was pretty good. It's not like a runny type of sauce. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you add more before the serving size, it's not bad. It coats the noodles, so that's good. I'm gonna add a little basil, a little oregano, and then just a little garlic powder. I'm just letting the sauce finish heating through and I think that's it. I think we're pretty much done. We'll probably just top it off with a little bit of cheese. And it's gonna be our quick and easy. Oh, I'm lying! Oh my god, I totally forgot about chicken. I'm over here like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, we're gonna go in with our pre shredded chicken. It's already cooked through. We're just gonna heat it through. So that's a good amount. I don't know why. I was like, I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? That's so funny. All right, once this heats through, we'll top it off with some mozzarella. I'm just gonna put a little um, low fat mozzarella cheese on top. Just a little bit, a little pinch. This pasta, we're gonna give it a try. Oh, it looks really good. It smells good. And it made more than I really thought, I guess, because we put chicken and broccoli, so it's gonna be a good amount. All right, guys, served up my dinner. I'm gonna go in with this Mini Made Zero Sugar. These are keto approved, of course, but don't judge my cup. I just want something different, a little bit. I usually use these for a lot of like keto approved alcohol drinks too. I'll mix like some tequila in here, some vodka, a clear alcohol, and I usually have just like a fruit punch drink if you ever want an alcohol drink that is keto approved. But all right, let's go ahead and dig in. This looks so good. So, so good. This looks so good. All right, let's try that sauce and the pasta. The only thing about this pasta, it kind of did break apart very easily. Like I have little pieces, you know what I mean? Instead of long pieces, but still good hmm oh yeah oh that sauce is good the pasta is good too and i like that it's nice and thin it cooked really well this was a really good quick and easy dinner just to throw together i literally made it in like 15 minutes 20 15 to 20 minutes just depends but i'm gonna sit down and enjoy this i got my drink and in a little bit we'll make some dessert all right, you guys, I finished my dinner. It was super good. Now we are going to make some cake. So are y'all ready? We're gonna make yeah. funfetti cake with vanilla whoa, icing, whoa. and then we're gonna put whoa. some Christmas sprinkles on there. So this should be fun. Y'all wanna say hi? Brando, Bashy, Bash, Byron. All right, we all gotta share, okay? Stop it. We all gotta share. So we need one cup whoa. of water. Half a cup of oil and three eggs. So let's grab the ingredients. Byron got the eggs. We're gonna need a bowl. No, leave them there, don't drop them. Not Cool Whip. We need half a cup of oil. What oil? What oil? I think we have half a cup. That's about enough. Then we need, we're gonna get one cup of water. Excuse me, Linky. What? Okay, we gotta get a mixing bowl. Oh, All right, we gotta take turns, okay? Okay, we are standing in line. They're gonna do one thing at a time. So first thing, mommy has to set the oven to 350 degrees. Oh, God. All right, we got set 350. Then beat cake mix. So Brando's gonna pour the cake mix first. I used to love <laughs> confetti cake. All right, Brando first. Here you go, you can pour the cake mix into the bowl. You gotta use both hands. Okay. No more though. Nobody get tempted, okay? It's the holidays. We're baking. All right. Oh, thanks, Brando. Okay, next. Bashi. Now it says to add the oil. 
You want to pour it into the measuring cup? Okay, pour it into this cup until it fills to the line. Yep, pour it in there. Not fast. Okay. Oh, let me add a little bit more. Oh, okay, just about. We had just half a cup. Okay, now put this in the bowl. Hold it right. Mm -hmm. Pour it in there. Oh, good job. Pour it right. I forget he's left handed. Don't drop it. Pour it in there. Pour it in there. Good job. Okay, good job. Did you get any eggshells? No, you didn't. Good job. Next, we got an eggshell right here. <laughs> All right, next, your egg. We all washed our hands. You gotta, you gotta hit it right here first. Good job. Okay, now open it up. Carefully, carefully. You got it. You got it. You got it. Leave him alone. Yeah. Oh, you did so good. Okay, open it up more. Good job. Okay, go throw away your eggshells. Don't. Careful. Oh. Okay, no, don't drop it in there. <laughs> um, and then y'all take turns. Randall makes the sound. Go wash your hands. The hell now. Turn. Ah. I'm just gonna get the bottom. Ooh. I take those. Okay, we got our baking dish. I'm gonna spray it down with some baking oh, non-stick spray, so nothing sticks. Do well, the cake has to cook, so you're gonna have to come back in a minute to ice it up. It has to cook in the oven. Mommy's gonna pour it in there. By me. We have to take time to bake. No, it's heavy. Look. We do it. We do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, do it. oh my God, Mama would do it because it's all. All right, nice job. Okay, mommy's gonna spread it out evenly. But why me? All right. We're gonna pop this in the oven and we'll be back to ice it. All right, guys, in the meantime, while that cake is baking for 30 minutes, mommy wants a dessert too. So I'm gonna take an apple. We're gonna make like a little low calorie type of apple pie thing. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the skin. Like I said, to make it easier, you could probably find the no sugar added apple pie filling, but my store was out, so we're just gonna make our own. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up my apple into thin slices just like this. I'm gonna take out the middle part. Make sure there's no seeds. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the stove top. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my pot. Don't mind my mop back here, okay? I was mopping up some stains my kids spilled. But anyways, we're gonna take a pot. Then, we're gonna add in our apple. And we're gonna cook it down. So cook it down to make it nice and sweet. Keto approved this sweetener, so if you are trying to find a brown sugar replacement, this is not one to go. We're gonna add in some Swerve brown sugar and get them all nice and caramelized. And to give it that apple pie flavor, I'm gonna add in this apple pie spice, which is basically like a mix of cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. So it's just like an all-in-one so you don't have to do it individually. Ooh, just a little dash. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this. You wanna kinda keep it on the low and these apples are gonna get nice and caramelized. And then we'll put it in a little baking dish. Okay, you can see that the sugar is like simmering, the apples are gonna get tender and it smells amazing. So I'm just gonna give this about five minutes and then we'll scoop it into an oven safe bowl. All right guys, once your apples are done, you're gonna take an oven safe baking dish, just a small one, like a little serving size for you. I have some crushed um, golden grams right here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some at the bottom. So if you were crushing some up, you'd use like half a cracker. So you want very little. It's just to give it a little crust and keep it low calorie. So I cover the bottom just like that. Then you're gonna go ahead and add in your apple pie filling. Oh my God, that looks so good. And then you're gonna top it off with just a sprinkle of the golden grams again. Make sure that's nice and even. Look at that, oh, it's so ready. Okay, a sprinkle of golden grams and then you're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. 
All right, you guys, and I baked it for 10 minutes. Basically, you can bake it as long as you want. Like, you just want to get the breadcrumbs at the bottom nice and caramelized with the um, sugar replacement and the apples. The apples are cooked through. So I'm going to let it cool down just a bit, but I like it warm, or we're going to top it off. Okay, so you can top it off with some light whipped cream if you want. I had topped a little bit for a picture, but I'm going to put a little bit more. But you can just top it off with some whipped cream. And it's still pretty warm, so I'm going to go ahead and eat it because I want it warm. I'm gonna dig in, let me show y'all. All right, but this is a very quick and easy, like low calorie dessert. It didn't take long at all. Oh my God, this looks so good. You could even like have it with some um, low calorie ice cream or some keto approved ice cream. Usually the keto approved ice creams are pretty um, good with carbs and calories as well. This is how it looks. You got the little crust from the golden grams, the whipped cream and your apples. All right. Mmm. Oh my god. Ah. While well, everybody else has cake, I still get to enjoy a dessert. And it's always better homemade. Mm. This is so good. So good. Just like an apple pie. Definitely use that apple pie spice. My kid's cake is still baking. It has like four minutes. Um, I'm going to take it out, let that cool. While that's cooling, I'm going to enjoy this. And then they're going to go ahead and ice up their cake. All right, you guys, their cake finished. We're going to put on some icing. I actually didn't realize that I didn't have Christmas sprinkles. Now I feel bad. But I didn't realize they were Halloween that I still had. Um, but it's okay. They're just going to make a cake. All right, we're going to take turns. I got to ice it. Okay, here you go, Bash. You spread some first. And then we're going to make cookies for Santa very soon. So we'll make those all Christmassy. Yeah. You got to get it right there. We got the cake for the little ones. Oh, dear. Say, oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So everybody else is enjoying their cake. We had our dessert, which was absolutely delicious without the guilt. But I'm about to call it a night. I had a full day of eating. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all on the next one.